USC quarterback Miller Moss. Could he be a first round NFL draft prospect in the 2025 NFL draft? Now, after an excellent performance against LSU this past week, in combination with his bowl performance earlier this year when he stepped in for Caleb Williams, it's not out of the realm of possibility. So today I'm going to go over a few of his strengths, uh, some of his weaknesses and some of the data for uh, quarterback Miller Moss. And we are gonna discuss his NFL draft potential. But before we get started with the analysis, I want to remind you to check out our website, footballscout365.com, where you can find all of our written NFL draft analysis and player scouting reports, as well as our NFL draft big board rankings. In addition to all of that, you can also find our fantasy football analysis and other NFL and college football content all on our website, footballscout365.com. Okay, week one of the college football season, it did not disappoint. There were a lot of high-level quarterback performances, uh, which included names like Miami quarterback Cam Ward, for example, uh, which I plan to cover in a future video as well. Uh, other week one notable quarterback performances included LSU's Garrett Nussmeyer, Georgia's Carson Beck, uh, who is currently considered to be the QB1 in the 2025 NFL Draft. We also had Shadur Sanders. He had a monster game, albeit against an FCS-level opponent. Uh, he still played very well behind an offensive line that still needs a lot of work. I know they revamped that offensive line, but it still needs a ton of work, especially in pass protection situations. Uh, Alabama's Jalen Milrow with a new head coach and, and Kalen DeBoer, uh, the offensive minded Kalen DeBoer, by the way, as his new head coach. He looked really good to open the season. And another name that had an excellent day on Saturday was Drew Aller from Penn State. He's a guy that if he can continue to develop because of his prototypical size, his big arm, he is a guy that could elevate into the top of the quarterback rankings this season. He's a guy that I highlighted ahead of week one of the college football season. He's a guy that I talked about a little bit during the offseason leading up to the 2024 college football season as a player to keep an eye on. Uh, the big question for him leading into this season would be his consistency, especially the accuracy, the downfield accuracy. But he proved against West, West Virginia that he is improving in that area. He had a really nice back shoulder touchdown throw, by the way, in this game. So we're going to keep an eye on Drew Aller. We're going to cover him a little bit more in depth as well. So the quarterback position, I believe it will continue to surprise some people throughout this season. Perception in the preseason is that this position would lack depth and that it should take a step back uh, when you compare it to the 2024 NFL draft class. But after one week, it does not appear to be the case. Uh, so again, as this season progresses, we are going to monitor this as usual, and I will continue to provide analysis on all of the top quarterback prospects as we as we kind of move through this season. Now let's talk about Miller Moss. Moss, he's an interesting prospect. Uh, he burst onto the scene in the Holiday Bowl when Caleb Williams set out uh, this past bowl season. Now Moss, he stepped right in. He broke a USC and Holiday Bowl uh, passing record. He threw for six touchdown passes in his debut as a starter for the the USC Trojans. He was also named the Holiday Bowl MVP. Now that is exactly the type of momentum that you're looking for in a quarterback heading into the next season coming off of a bowl game like that, uh, especially when you're opening up against an SEC opponent, uh, the LSU Tigers, as USC did. And they came away with a win, 27 to 20 against LSU in week one. And Miller Moss, he was absolutely phenomenal in this game. He threw for 378 yards, completed 75% of his throws, and he finished the game going five of six on the game-winning drive before Woody Marks would eventually score the go-ahead touchdown with eight seconds to go. Moss was absolutely accurate at all field levels in this game. He was remarkable going four of four on throws of 20 plus yards or more. He amassed 120 yards in one touchdown on deep throws of 20 plus yards or longer. He was also excellent at the intermediate level which those are the throws that are the 10 to 19 yard uh, throws. These are more translatable to the NFL level. He completed 86% of his intermediate throws, by the way, for 126 of his total 378 yards. Uh, Moss, he checked a ton of boxes in this particular matchup against LSU. Uh, he didn't get dinged for a single bad decision, by the way, against LSU. And if we go back to the Holiday Bowl, we charted him uh, only having one bad throw in that particular game. So his ability to take care of the football while also being able to take risk and make difficult throws. He's not being too careful, 
with the football. It's not like some sort of detriment to the offense where he's deciding to take a check down instead of throwing, you know, an open post route or something at the intermediate level that, that is open that might be a tighter window throw or a more difficult throw than the check down that's out here. These are the things that you're seeing from Miller Moss, and that's the kind of consistency that you want to see at the quarterback position. Uh, this is a guy who can absolutely push the football vertically. He can hit the intermediate throws. We already talked about that with accuracy. Now, as far as the weaknesses are concerned, he's not a prototypically sized quarterback at six foot two, 205 pounds. That's at least what he's listed at. The one area that I thought that he could maybe improve on was getting the ball out a little bit quicker at times. Now in the Holiday Bowl, uh, his average time to throw from the pocket was 2.6 seconds. I thought that he could definitely improve that ball, getting it out a little bit quicker. And he absolutely answered the call on that as well in this particular game. He got the ball out in under 2.4 seconds on average from the pocket uh, in this game against LSU. So I can't really complain about that aspect of his game right now. So we'll kind of see how that progresses throughout the season. Uh, this is a data point as well that we like to look at. It's a data point that's constantly talked about uh, throughout the NFL scouting community is how fast or how quickly a quarterback can get the ball out from the pocket and how accurate he is, whether he's under pressure or not. Uh, and whatever the passing concepts are as well, a lot there's a lot that goes into account for that. But again, major improvement from him, uh, just continuing to show progression to get better. And as this season goes on and as the schedule continues to get more and more difficult down the stretch in the Big Ten, for example, maybe he has to play in, in, in a much colder weather situation outdoors in a hostile environment. I can't wait to kind of see what that looks like with Miller Moss as, as we kind of move forward here. So overall, Miller Moss, he looks the part of a player that could ascend in the quarterback rankings if he can continue to play at a high level, if he can remain consistent. Now, I don't expect him to have a game like he had against LSU. I think LSU's defense, it's very questionable. Uh, we'll kind of see how they look as the season progresses on defense, LSU, by the way, so that we can look back. And if there is any type of drop off for Miller Moss, we can look back and we could say it was against a bad defense, uh, the bad defense of LSU. Uh, that allowed him to perform like that. But again, it's going to be all about the consistency over time in the Big Ten Conference from Miller Moss. And he's going to absolutely have plenty of opportunities to prove himself this season uh, for USC at quarterback, uh, whether he's going to be able to elevate them into the college football playoff and whether he can elevate his NFL draft stock into the first round of the 2025 NFL Draft. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Please let me know your thoughts on Miller Moss. Also, let us know what other quarterbacks that you believe proved that they may deserve to be considered a top potential NFL draft prospect. As always, I want to say thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in-depth NFL draft analysis.